Welcome to my channel. In this presentation, we will embark on a professional analysis of Guy de Maupassant's The Piece of String, meticulously examining its narrative intricacies, thematic depth, and enduring relevance within the realm of literature. Biography of Guy de Maupassant Henry René Albert Guy de Maupassant was a 19th century French author, remembered as a master of the short story form as well as a representative of the naturalist school, who depicted human lives, destinies and social forces in disillusion and often pessimistic terms. Born August 5, 1850 to a Vilsaux, Francide, July 6, 1893, 16th arrondissement of Paris, Paris, France full name. Henry René Albert Guy de Maupassant. Guy de Maupassant is regarded as the best French writer of short stories. His 300 stories were written in a naturalist style and often describe the life of the lower and middle classes. Bull de Suif Ball of Fat is regarded as his best story. While the best known is La Prua. The necklace, key points of the story. The piece of string is an 1883 short story by Guy de Maupassant. It is included in the short story collection Miss Harrier, regionally published. 1883. Author. Guy de maupassant Fiction language, French-English. What is the setting of a piece of string? The piece of string is set in a small village called Godeville. Sometime during the late 1800s, Godeville is in Normandy, in northern France. The majority of the story takes place on market day, in the town square. The tone is unaffordable, innocent and anxious. Teens of Story The Piece of String by Guy de Maupassant is a heartbreaking tale of false accusations. Examine the story's themes of being proud of oneself, the importance of avoiding stereotypes, and how much one's reputation matters. Truth and Deception, gossip and public shaming message. Mopassant's dislike of the peasantry. Mopassant held a cynical view of the lower classes, of whom he paints an unflattering, sardonic portrait in this story. The peasants' distrust of one another. The peasants' ingrained suspiciousness singles out. Hodgecorn as a thief. Summary and analysis of story. Set in a little Norman village. The piece of string concerns several months in the life of Maitre Horchcorn, an old peasant. On an autumn market day in Godeville, Horchcorn is about to enter the square when he sees a piece of string on the ground and, being of the saving kind, retrieves it. As he does so, he becomes aware that an enemy of his, M. Malandane, the local harness maker, is watching, ashamed to be seen picking up a remnant of string. The protagonist furtively hides it in his clothing, and then pretends to be looking for something of value on the ground. With his head bent over in his intense search, he moves on toward the market. A few hours later, Porchcorn is having his noon meal at the local tavern, Jardines, which is filled with local peasants, their gossipy chatter, and the powerful odour of food cooking. Twice the meal and the chatter are interrupted. First, by the voice of the town crier, who gravely announces the loss by an howl breck of a pocketbook containing 500 francs. Second, by the appearance of the chief of gendarmes, who summons Horchcorn to see the mayor on village business. Leaving his meal, the protagonist hurries to the mayor's office, where he is unofficially confronted with the charge of having found howl breck's pocketbook and of keeping it. The sole witness to the incident is Malandane, says the mayor. Horchcorn sputters in rage at the accusation, coming from his enemy. His defense one that he shouts over and over. Is that no one could seriously mistake a pocketbook for a piece of string? Those present do not believe him, and they say so, which enrages Horchcorn even more. Malandane appears, and his reiterating of the charge against the protagonist leads to a lengthy, and bitter exchange between them. To prove his innocence, Horchcorn insists on being search. He is, but no pocketbook or large sum of money is found on him. 
De Meyer dismisses him with the warning that as mayor, he will consult a higher authority in the matter. Out in the village again, Old Horchkorn finds that many of the peasants have already heard of the event, and to set the record straight Horchkorn begins to restate what he told the mayor, and the others. He found a piece of string and saw no pocketbook. To dramatize those points he turns his pockets inside out. Both his friends and strangers boldly tell him that they place no faith in his story, that he is indeed an old rascal and a rogue. On the way home that night, and after his evening meal, he again stops neighbors and strangers and again goes over his litany of facts relative to the string and the pocketbook and the mayor's false accusation. Once more, no single peasant will step forward to support his claim of innocence. Today's events have made him ill. The next day, however, the pocketbook and its contents have been found on the road and returned to their rightful owner. In his hour of triumph, Porchcorn goes into the village and endlessly recounts the charge made against him the previous day and then the good news that fully exonerates him. Indeed, he spends the rest of the day on the road, returning often to the square to spread the news. At first he is convinced that his big adventure has ended most favorably for him, but as the day wears on, he senses that something is wrong. He was easy now, and yet something worried him without his knowing exactly what it was. People had a joking manner while they listened. They did not seem convinced. He seemed to feel their remarks behind his back. One week later, having brooded over the collective reaction to his supposed vindication, the protagonist returns once more to the Godaville market and once more confronts his peers with the details of the found string and the lost and returned pocketbook on the streets and in Jordanes. Their response to Horchkorn is the same. He is guilty and both he and they know it. From time to time that day, he is even told that he had an accomplice who gave back the pocketbook. Once Horchkorn's name had become implicated in the theft, angry, dejected and confused, he is unable to finish his meal at Jardines and is forced to return home. Amid the sound of mocking laughter, going over and over in his mind the events that began one week before, Horchkorn tries to come to terms with what has happened to him. He is positive of one thing. He is unable to prove his innocence because his reputation in Godaville for being crafty is well known. He was, perhaps, capable of having done what they accused him of and even of boasting of it as a good trick. In other words, his reputation has preceded him and it does not stand him in good stead now. Once he had prided himself on his tricky business practices, but now he understands that those practices have predisposed his peasant neighbors and friends to doubt his innocence. The Norman peasant, suspicious by nature, is ready to think the worst of old Horchkorn. And he does. The injustice of it all weighs heavily on the protagonist's mind. He sees himself as being alone in the community, in fact. Kaidimo Passant does not mention Horchkorn's family, if he does have one. He knows, too, that he has no defenders and many accusers. His brooding continues. His mind begins to be affected by his need to convince them that he is no dissembler. Horchkorn goes forth every day in the village, redoubling his efforts to persuade Denny and all that he spied a piece of string in the road and put it in his pocket. About the pocketbook, he knows nothing. The cruelty of the peasants is such that Horchkorn becomes in short order a butt of public jokes. The more they ask him to recite his tale of woe, the more elaborate and the more subtle his argument for his innocence becomes, as always. He is never believed. The protagonist falls ill in late December and is bedridden, early in January. He dies in his deathbed delirium. His denials of wrongdoing are focused in a single phrase uttered repeatedly. A little bit of string, a little bit of string. I hope you've understand this lecture if you have any queries. Let me know in the comments section and do share it with your friends.